How to create mockups in Canva for Etsy, step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will be showing you how you can create mockups in Canva and the reason why you should be creating mockups, what are the recommended sizes, and what kind of sizes would work best for Etsy. So let's get into it. Now, if you search for printable art or any other kind of item, you definitely need to create a mockup before you start selling your item. The reason for that is because let's say I'm selling this art piece. Now this is a printable art piece. So the actual delivered product is going to be the actual image and you can't just upload your image as the basic image that you add as your thumbnail on it because that is what you're selling. You don't want people to just download it like this and just click on save image as and save it. Instead, you actually want to create a mock-up like this where people can see what it's going to look like once they print it out and frame it or whatever kind of printable art it might be. It could be printable art, it could be stickers, it could be journals, it could be digital journals, any of that stuff. Because you don't want them to have direct access to your image. Instead, you want them to be able to see what the image would look like once they print it and they can order it. And then in your actual digital download or digital file, you're going to upload the particular Canva art or whatever art that you've created. So you can use Canva to easily create these kinds of mockups and they're super easy to do. So the first step you have to do is register on Canva. For that, all you need to do is register with your email address. It's available for free. Canva is a free to use graphic designing tool that can enable you to create presentations, websites, videos, and more. Now, once you get started and you have logged on, this is going to be your dashboard. On your dashboard, you're going to search for mockup. So once you search for mockup, you're going to have multiple different types of mockups available. So you can just click on enter over here and you're going to find different types of mockups. So they have, you know, these kinds of mockups where it's a frame mockup, they have tablet, phone mockups, you know, tote bag mockups. But we're looking to create a mockup that's similar to this, which is basically a wall art or printable wall art, printable wall art or painting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for wall art mockup. So once you search for wall art mockup, you're going to find different mockups like this. Or you can just search for mock-up and take a look at some of the other ones. So art wall mock-up. And you guys can see there are a few different options available. But I'm just going to keep on searching in the mock-ups. And let's take a look at the different options available. We have this frame option available. You can click on use this template over here. And this is only available on the pro plan of Canva. So you can click on get another free trial. Click on next over here. Get your free trial. And I previously have used the free trial on Canva, but still you can get a free trial later on as well. So once you get started with your templates and let's say I want to use this one so I can click on customize this template. Now, this doesn't mean that only pro templates are available. You guys can see there are a bunch of different free ones available as well. So this is a free template over here. You can click on customize this template. It's by Steph Studio. So it's by S-T-E-P-H-5 Steph Fifth Studio. And you can use these templates. There's this template as well, although it's in the form of a video, but it's still a great template. Now, there are a few key components that you should keep in mind when you're looking at these templates. That is the Etsy requirements. So Etsy says that the recommended size for listing images is 2000 pixels for the shortest side of the image and the resolution should be 72 ppi. Images larger than one megabyte in file size may not finish uploading, especially on slower internet. So you can see over here, they have the recommended size, which is 2000 pixels on the listing images. That is on the shorter side of your image. So make sure that the image size that you choose is larger than that. So let's take a look at this mockup over here. Let's say my shop name is what I'm going to enter or my Instagram name, my art name, whatever it might be like this. I can add my Instagram handle if I want. You can choose to remove this as well. And then on the back, you can see this is like the artwork that has been printed. I'm going to click on delete. Then I'm going to click on uploads on the left panel and click on upload files. Once I click on upload files, I can upload my art. So let's say this is the artwork that I'm selling, or maybe this is the printable art that I'm selling. So I can upload this image. Now, once this image has been uploaded, I can click on this image. 
and then place it within this frame. Now, just like that, I can zoom out and we have our mock-up ready. Now, if the mock-up does not look good, you can choose a different template because this is a slightly darker painting. So I think a more darker design element would suit better. Now, once you open up a template, you can go into the design section on the top left toolbar and click on templates. Over here, you're gonna find some similar looking templates. So you can find some similar looking templates as well. But let's take a look at some of the other templates that are available. So let's take a look at this one over here. This looks pretty good. So I'm going to click on customize this template over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the image that was added, go into uploads and upload my own image. Now, this looks really nice. And you can see classic or just abstract art printable art like this and then once i've created my mock-up the next thing i have to do is click on share on the top right then i can click on download once i click on download i want to download this as a jpeg or pdf i like to use jpeg simply because this is only for my listing image this is not the actual art piece the digital download file that i like to upload on my art piece i like to do that in the form of a pdf and then you're going to choose the size so for our size, as you guys can see, I took a look at the listing image recommendations and it says 2000 pixels on the shortest side. So I'm going to go ahead into my panel and we're going to increase the size like this. So I think I'm going to go with this particular size over here and I'm going to click on download. And once I click on download, our listing image is now being downloaded. So once our download has been completed, I'll show you guys what it looks like. This is what it currently looks like. And you can create multiple different types of mockups because mockups are meant to, you know, give your customers the visual representation of what their product is going to look like. So let's take a look at some of the other templates as well. Now, if I search for mockup over here, it doesn't limit you to only wall art mockups. If you're doing something like selling phone paper wallpaper so a lot of people do that business as well where they're selling phone paper wallpapers you can create mock-ups from those as well and you can also create book cover mock-ups if you're selling those if you're selling birthday cards like this one if you're selling like a printable card business card designs all of these items can be created with mock-ups so you can add your actual print that you're going to do onto these mock-ups and you will be able to create representative images for your etsy listing so all of these sellers have created pretty similar types of listings you guys can see over here these wall art listings have been created in a similar fashion and they give you a good idea of what the items are going to look like once they have been printed and once they are you know put on walls so I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to help you guys out and I will catch you guys in the next video.